Kate, 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 uh, guys, yeah. we have been doing this show for Hang a on, year. Sarah needs to take Sarah. 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 No, she has to take two. Is there a Megan? Is there a Megan? Um, <laughs> uh, guys, we've been doing this show for a year. We've been doing this show for a whole year. <laughs> You know, actually, to celebrate, we were thinking about doing some of our jokes from our original show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that was actually right after the election, and we were like, why tell jokes about what a dumpster fire our country is when you've probably been reading about it at your desk all day and sure. it's working? Yeah. 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 Um, this show has been the one, I think, bright spot for me. It's yeah. been the one thing that I really look forward to. Right, well that and your endless walks through the woods. Yeah, well, you know, Hillary's in there all the time, so I'm bound to run into her eventually. Sure. You know, whenever I get a news alert on my phone, I just grab my copy of what happened in a Sharpie and I head to the forest. Yeah. <laughs> eventually. Eventually. They're gonna cross paths. I get it though, I do some weird things to sort of cope too. Uh, like last weekend, I just bought a slew of third grade level reading books. <laughs> just like any time I'm having a bad day and I really need to crush it something. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta just blow through some of those just Judy Blooms. Just whip through a Judy Bloom. Oh. <laughs> Are you there, God? It's me, oh. marching for human oh. rights. <laughs> Um, there, speaking of sort of like preparing for the next, for like the rest of these three years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I actually, I got an IUD inserted. Yeah. It was heroic, yeah. so. I can you hold your applause for just a second though, because I thought that you already had an IUD. I did, I got a second one. Oh. <laughs> and hear me out, the reasoning is just in case Mike Pence just like reaches up into my vagina and rips one out, I have a spare. That's, uh, that's good, you got, that, you got the future on lock. I have plans B through Z probably covered. I'm really All prepared. Yeah, I'm did. not getting pregnant! Yeah. I've been I've been thinking about my future lately. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I do. Uh -huh. uh, my dad asked me recently if I'm saving for retirement. Uh, I told him, relax, Dad. I have a retirement plan. Oh, like a savings account? Yeah, I'm looking? saving Beanie Babies. Uh, I have the Princess Diana bear, okay? Uh, it's in the glass box with the tag still on it. Lightly matted fur, but just wait till that thing hits eBay. You know what I mean? Sure. Uh, just, I, mean, I call it my TY401. That's what I <laughs> Or if you were a Thai person, I call it my Thai Roth IRA. Whatever you call it, I got it. Are you saving Beanie Babies? <laughs> Apparently, no, and I guess I should have been. Um, no, I actually, you want to hear something weird? Always. Uh, this is the part. I used to cut the tags off when I was a kid. And, and then, yeah, so all my mini babies were like worthless. I know, I didn't know. I was a kid, I didn't know. Anyway. Living large. I, 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 I just wanted to share that. Um, so, speaking of sort of planning for the future, like with this whole healthcare situation, yeah. I was like, maybe I should exercise. Sure, that makes sense. Uh, and I realized I thought I was a healthy person, uh, but since I moved to LA, like appearances are like totally different. Here, you know what I mean? Like I lived in Chicago for a long time. Um, thank you. Uh, and, and it's totally different there, right? Like, like in Chicago, I'm an attractive woman in my 30s. Sure. And in LA, I'm so nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I get that. It's different in LA. Like I, nice. yeah, I lost 20 pounds. Uh, it's true. It was really hard. Uh, and in LA, I'm uh, now Dove commercial hot. Uh, me too. I am too. We've hit it. Uh, that's and I actually that's one of the re we have so much in common. That's why one of the reasons I'm glad that we started doing the show together. Yeah, I do. I agree. What so this has been a year. What do you, what's your favorite like ladies' room moment from last year? Sure. Um, I would probably say uh, when we were running the open mic, we've been running our open mic for months. Right before this uh, show. Yeah. yeah, we had one right before the show. Uh, and a guy came up to me after one open mic and tried to mansplain to me how to run an open mic. Oh, that was good. Oh. That was good. He was like, I thought you were trying to be funny. And like, yeah. Oh my God, wait, slow down. We're taking notes. Hang on. Um, <laughs> trying to be funny. That was great. Yeah, I really loved it. What about you? 
Uh, mine's kind of similar. Um, this uh, this is, is, is related to, this happens a lot, a lot of guys have asked us to be booked on our show, even when they know it's an all-female show, yep. and, and we just have to tell them that we only book women. Yeah, and I should preface this by saying they're so, always super offended. <laughs> yeah, they're really <laughs> mad. They're really, Give like, us this yeah. one thing. This one guy was like, <laughs> okay. yeah. they were like, how would you feel if you yeah. found out that there were just an all-men show? And I was like, Oh, I'm sorry, you just described the status quo of comedy. Um, I guess I would get mad and start my own show. Oh, wait, I already did that. Hey, woo! But hey, but hey, keep working out that date rape joke. Uh, please, please. We are begging for a hot we take on that. We need a hot take on date rape. Uh, keep it, keep uh, it in the mix. This is our first year of celebration, and this is the one-year birthday that I feel like I can really get behind. I can yeah. get behind oh, this one-year birthday. Yeah, first-year birthdays are fucking stupid. Oh, they really are. It's I mean, like, a lot of you just watch someone waddle around and shove cake in their face, and they're not even drunk. <laughs> not only that, like, I've been to your engagement party. I went to your wedding. I went right. to your wedding shower. I went to your wedding. I went to your baby shower. Now I have to go to your first-year birthday party? Like, how me something, you know? <laughs> I'm registered at Crate and Barrel under supportive friends, Jennifer O'Donnell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. Um, th- it actually made me reminisce about like my some of my favorite birthdays oh, that yeah. I had. Oh, I had a solid twenty uh, first birthday. Okay. I turned twenty one the same uh, day of my sister's bachelorette party, so <laughs> that was a shit show. You guys may not know this, but uh, Red Bull doesn't give you wings if you mix a can with seven shots of vodka. <laughs> I learned that though. That's a good lesson. I'm a better person. Now. Good, and I'm glad that you're still a person. <laughs> my, yeah, living. Living. Um, my favorite birthday is probably this past birthday because I got engaged. <laughs> you can't top that. You can't top that. No. What I do now. You know, I was thinking about this. I really couldn't have said another birthday because my fiance is in the room and he spent so much money. And it's like, you better fucking say that. <laughs> you don't fucking say it, we got a problem. Um, no, but yeah, so we're engaged. Yeah, can you show everybody a ring? I just really like this part where we pretend like the old lady dropped it into the ocean at the end of Titanic. <laughs> I love that we never work that joke in, but you always tell but it I always anyway. Find <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be talking about Titanic more tonight, probably. Yeah. Uh, She's got a lot of hot takes on Titanic. I'll get a lot. Um, uh, so, are you planning? Are you planning for the wedding? Um, you... Well, I will tell you this: my DVR is full of "Say Yes to the Dress." Sure. <laughs> you gotta so, do your homework. You gotta do your homework. <laughs> uh, I will say though, it is kind of fun to spend like to just take a half hour out of your day. Yep. Like watch a show, just kind of escape, yep. see these women that can buy literally whatever dress they want, and just fantasize just for like a little bit what it's like to not have real problems. Yeah. Oh, nice. I mean, like, I've never gonna know what it's like to cry over the beating on a bodice. <laughs> <laughs> not. Meanwhile, I don't even know what a bodice is. <laughs> I'm not really sure either. I was hoping you would. That's why I brought it up. So what do you, what dress wise? So you're not you're not gonna do like the Kleinfeld's trip. No, you're not gonna no, do like a bare no, line. I'm pretty, you, no, I'm pretty loyal to my brand. Oh, what's your brand? TJ Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I'm a Maxinista myself. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm a gold star Maxinista. That means I don't even go across the parking lot to Ross. Uh, loyal, loyalty, right, 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 loyalty, right. loyalty, loyalty. Um, loyalty. Actually, speaking of <laughs> that's loyalty. Yes. Um, I, I like that one, so I'm I want trying, to say it I'm again. Trying to run, I'm trying to hold this mic together right now. I know. Um, so here's a new thing. Here's a recent thing. Yeah. Um, my fiance and I were approached to be on a reality show. Oh my god. Because we're, uh, they're looking for like a newly engaged couple. Okay. Uh, and you're gonna do it. Uh, yeah, they're gonna pay us money. We're gonna. <laughs> <fight. laughs> Uh, fucking wedding pot is at zero now, so yeah, that yeah, would be great. Yeah. Um, so here's the weird thing, is okay. they, like, interviewed okay. us because they want to know, like, your story. Like, what's your story? Sure. Like, tell us, like, your love story. Like, you just seem so in love. And it's like, okay, just chill. <laughs> and, um, and so the real story is that uh, we met, uh, and then we were friends for, like, three years. Um, and then we didn't start, and then we dated, we did, like, a solid three years after that. We didn't, there was no, like... Yeah, we were just genuine. We were just genuinely friends. That's it. And they hated that. They were like, "Can you cut that part out? (laughs) Can you just you met and you started dating and then you got engaged? Is it so unbelievable that like men and women would be friends? No, no. That's not the thing. Is people are so unbelievably stupid that 
they can't handle that extra plot point. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> that's a they were like, they're not gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's wrong oh, with our boy. country. It's what, yeah. You can't have this, this, yeah. one thing. A to B, A to B. Yeah, yeah. you can't have a C. I gotta say, so you know this about me, uh, some of you guys know this, but I worked in reality TV development for a long time. So my job was to just come up with show ideas and pitch them out. Yeah, you uh, can cheer for that. Yeah, you can cheer. Yeah. 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 You know, I've, I've developed thousands of shows, you've seen zero of them. Um, I had this one show. I had this one. It was, it was great, you wanna know the title? Uh, yeah, sure. It was called, I Am Here To Make Friends. <laughs> play on when people on a reality show say, I'm not here to make friends. Exactly. Okay. exactly. Yeah, so it's a competition show where people think they're competing for money, but the real prize is the friendships that they <laughs> You know, I have to be honest, it does, Carrie is like tickled by this uh, So, I have to be honest, it does sound kind of sweet. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. it does sound really yeah. earnest. So you would watch it? Oh, hell no, that sounds boring. Carrie's <laughs> <laughs> gonna watch it. Tune in. <laughs> zero, zero o'clock um, PST. <laughs> um, so there's one other thing that I thought, it's kind of fun that it's our birthday show and it's also Thanksgiving season. Yeah. Um, and and I'm, I'm super thankful for this show. I, I know too. you are too. Thankful for you. Thankful for you. Fans. Woo! Uh, fun night. Yeah. What else are you thankful for? Uh, let's see. Um, uh, the red receipt on Facebook Messenger, so that I know exactly who's ignoring my request to be booked on their shows. Um, I am thankful for Stranger Things two minus episode seven. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm thankful, this is important, that we live in a progressive city, Los Angeles, yeah. Yeah. where you can get a breakfast burrito any time of day. <laughs> Nobody will judge you. Um, I am thankful for left-hand turn lanes. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, What's up? I'm thankful... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm thankful that... Uh, According to my niece, who's in middle school, that it's considered cool to be a feminist in middle school. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, when I was in middle school, nobody called me a feminist. They called me uh, that smart, angry girl. <laughs> so, uh, they called me that too, only instead of fart, it was smart, it was chubby. <laughs> I was also smart, but they did not lead with it. No. Uh, speaking of which, I'm also thankful that I learned not to eat waffles for every meal of the day. That worked out for me. It's, I turned out, it's fine. <laughs> I always get a sign. It's like, we're, it was okay. We're okay. Maybe they just all want to eat waffles for every meal. Uh, I'm thankful that sexual assault's finally having some repercussions. Yeah! Part of the reason that sexual assault is making headlines is because we've been doing this show for a year and yeah. yelling yeah. feminist things into the microphone. You know, that's probably a coincidence. Uh, Come on, uh, give me this, it's our birthday. <laughs> <laughs> if you agree with Jesse, give her a clap. Yeah.